Good morning, guys. Johnny with Blazer Grass Lawn Care. Just finished this one right here. Front and back. And all I do is the uh, lawn. Hey guys, so today um, I, I got a question on my Instagram. And if you don't follow me, sorry about that. And if you don't follow me on my Instagram, um, go ahead and check it out. Um, a lot of times I try to answer as much of the uh, questions that I get, but um, keep in mind guys, I, <laughs> and, and not boasting and bragging, but I get a ton of people that want to ask a lot of questions. Um, and, and I have videos on my YouTube channel in regards to these questions. All you have to do is look for the, uh, look for the topic, look for the topic. That's why, you know, guys, I'm not ignoring you. I'm not just pushing you to the side. I honestly don't have the time to sit up and, and especially the ones that want to have phone calls. It's not going to happen. Sorry, guys. It's, it's, you know, I mean, I don't want to sound harsh, but, um, just keep in mind you um and believe me i appreciate I, I appreciate each and every last one of you but um if i were to sit up and answer all my emails answer all the phone calls uh, i wouldn't have any time to produce any content um but yeah so so please look for videos uh on the topic and believe me i can i can comfortably say that i have made videos for every freaking topic that you may think of the only thing that i don't make content on guys is taxes taxes and when it comes to your personal finance no because i'm not an i'm not an expert i have a cpa that do all my taxes and and um you know a financial advisor so if that was the case i would have been doing it myself but other than that um and guys don't don't <laughs> Don't listen to anybody on, on, on YouTube, uh, especially long guys, in regards to taxes. Get get a CPA, okay? Pay for this, pay for the service. You want to have a uh, an expert advising you. All right, so um, guys, today's video is on. Uh, I had a question in regards to a uh, gentleman said that he was part time doing lawn care and he has a full time job, and he wants to pull the trigger and jump into lawn care full time and uh he was kind of you know sort of weighing the pros and cons so today i'm going to be extremely realistic with you in regards to the lawn care industry um and the first thing i will tell you is that when you have a job and, and believe me this video is not to deter anyone from anything okay because at the end of the day you're going to make up your own mind but you need to know uh, what's out there and then you can say well I, I can deal with this and I can deal with that so this is not to deter you and this is not to push you forward it's just to open your eyes on the reality of owning a lawn care business and what you're going to encounter if you want to go full-time uh, number one is that you are at the mercy of mother nature okay so that steady paycheck is a no-no okay um, when you first start your lawn care business you're gonna pick up customers little by little. It takes time, it takes effort, it takes uh, dedication, commitment, um, and hard work. Um, it is not what people make it out to be. You go out there, put out 100 flyers, and 50 people are gonna call you. No, it doesn't work like that. You put out 100 flyers and you may get one or two calls, okay? And out of those one or two calls, uh, you may stick with only one of the customers because, again, you have to vet your customer base and uh, and get the best customers for your business, okay? Because let me tell you, you get customers that, um, you know, and let me tell you something, guys, and, and don't take this personal or whatever. You know, some of you guys are, you know, I am for, you know, the... The, the, the working man and I want to charge cheap or whatever the case might be. You're doing this because you have to feed your family. You have to pay your bills and all that good stuff. So I target affluent customers that 
have the additional income to pay me. You can't target people that are don't have that income to pay you and expect them to pay you a good wage. Make sense? You can't do that. Um, so you have to target that effluent amount of customers. And once you get that customer, put them on a scheduled service. Um, so, so you are at the mercy of, uh, you know, your customer base. So at the beginning, uh, on average, it takes three to five years to really build up a nice customer base that you can depend on because every year you're going to have those customers that don't pay you on time. Some of them pay you on time. They pay you all that good stuff. And then they just drop off and don't start not paying you and all that good stuff. And you have to deal with stuff like that. So, uh, yes, you don't have that steady paycheck. You have you are on at the mercy of uh, your customer base. So it depends on how many customers you have per day is uh, how much money you can make. Okay, that is a reality. Number two is Mother Nature. Mother Nature, even if you have 100 customers and it rains for a whole week, you're gonna be set back. Um, you only get paid when you cut grass. So <laughs> you're gonna have to be a real, oh, hard charging, dedicated, motivated guy to get out there and cut some wet grass uh, when you honestly don't think it should be cut. Um, as long as you're not making ruts and, and all that good stuff, um, yeah, you should be able to get out there and do what you have to do. But let me uh, get out here and finish up this property and uh, I'll get back to you in a few seconds. All right, so just finished this one. Front and back. And I'm not showing any mowing today, guys. Because again, you guys seen a lot of mowing videos. And I will be putting out more mowing videos later on anyway. So, um, yeah, so let's continue on. All right, so, um, so if you have a spouse that can supplement your uh, family insurance, then awesome. That's, that's, that's pretty good. Just ensure that you have the right amount of coverage. But if you does, don't have a spouse or um, that, that have insurance at their job or uh, you are the sole provider for your family, then you're going to have to look at insurance coverage for your business and your, and your I mean, for your family, sorry. So those are things that you got to kind of, you know, pay attention to uh, your equipment your equipment is another thing uh, when you first start you have used equipment and as you know used equipment is not reliable so you have to consider breakdowns um, you know when it comes to your income because at the end of the day guys again like I said before and I keep saying it if you're not mowing you're not making money so those are things that you have to kind of pay attention to and uh, and see you know if you can filter through that acquiring customers is a task but keeping customers is a bigger task because the reality is if you're not doing that uh, awesome awesome job anyone can show up with a cheaper rate and take your customers that is reality so you have to be an individual that you know take pride in what you're doing and do it to the best of your abilities uh, this way you know you don't lose as many customers um, to someone who's charging cheaper and let me tell you it doesn't matter how well or how good you are uh, you will have customers that will leave you for a cheaper rate because keep in mind everyone uh, Don't want edging uh, Everyone don't want string trimming for some reason. I mean me. I, I personally don't understand it But that is reality. Some people just want you to mow the yard But um, you know, we personally don't take uh, individuals like that. We uh, only take uh, properties that want full service because again, your neighbors doesn't know what you and that customer came up with. So they will judge your business based on your end product. So if you just 
kind of cut and keep it moving, uh, they're going to be under the impression that that is the type of work that you do. Okay. So, um, yeah, those are things, guys, that you have to kind of look at when you want to go full time. Uh, another one is winter, winter work. Winter work, uh, depending on where you are. You know, in my location, you can work year round, but it slows down. Everywhere uh, down south, it, it basically slows down, and you have to find other ways, other means. Uh, and I'm parking, I do apologize. Yeah, other means of uh, generating income. You know, yes, you can say, you know, uh, plant cleanup, I mean, plant bed, plant bed cleanup overgrown shrubs uh, cutting down overgrown shrubs uh, leaf excuse me leaf cleanups property cleanups but again there's so much of those that you can do and a lot of those are not constant work yes you know you bill a little bit more for it but at the end of the day you have to be an individual that knows how to save because those uh, you know times like this will, will come every year uh, if you're in the northern portion of the United States or you know wherever they you know you do snow then you can do snow removal and those type of tasks but you got to have a plan you can't just go day by day uh, because your livelihood your your money your income depends on you as an individual if you're by yourself and you get sick you know what are you gonna do uh, when it comes to servicing your customers properties those are things that you have to kind of think about um, and like I said before, guys, it's not a deterrent. It's just an eye-opener. It is a little bit tougher than what we, because I am guilty of it, uh, make it out to be. Uh, in the beginning, it's rough. It's rough. You got to learn how to, you know, how to get the right clients. You got to learn where to market. You got to learn... Uh, you know the best equipment for your area not the best equipment that a youtuber tells you um, You got to learn how to schedule your properties. You got to learn how to invoice all of these things you have to learn And don't get me wrong. Some people get out there uh, and, and hiring personnel as well If that's you know, you got to pay taxes. You got to pay workers comp there's a lot of things in running a long care a successful long care business and and the thing is, guys, I will tell you is that um, anybody can get out there and cut grass, okay? That's, that's a no-brainer. Anyone can do it. But the reality is, everyone is not making money. I I'm telling you right now, everyone is not making good money. I, no, no. You can tell. You can tell. Everyone is not making good money. So, so you have to be smart. In, in consolidating your properties in in you know, once you get all those tight locations then you know how to market because marketing is is something that you do all the time don't be under the impression that marketing you only do in the spring marketing you do all the time and and you know you pick up customers you drop customers you know you schedule this you schedule that when you have personnel you have personnel that that you know it, it takes out my saying is it takes a hundred guys for you to go through a hundred guys for you to get that one guy you know and still that one guy is 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 as good as you know don't give him that or her that that plateau where you say you know they're they're like me no one is going to care about your business more than you because it is your business um and, and keep in mind those individuals will eventually leave so it is a a merry-go-round of hiring personnel people leaving people coming in so you know little things like that guys I know it's a little bit of a ramble but I'm just giving you off the top of the dome um, things that you really need to pay attention to uh, before you go full-time doing this it's not hard but you have to be a an individual that's a, a go-getter okay male or female you have to be a go-getter all right guys this video went a little bit longer than i was expecting it to and this is you know straight up i'm not going to edit this this is going to be just straight up have a blessed one see you on the next one it's about to rain again and and again my heart goes out to those who are not getting any rain uh 
two years ago we were in the same situation it's like you know one year you get a lot of rain the other year you get okay the other year next year you get nothing and and those are things again that you also have to put into play you know when uh when mother nature says uh I don't want any rain and, and your customers don't want their yards to be cut. So, all right? Have a blessed one. Leave any comments or, or additional um, things that we need to look at in the uh, comment section, guys. Again, this was off the top of my dome. It wasn't rehearsed. Uh, I'm sure I missed a lot of other things in, in there. And uh, yeah, yeah. And I just thought of one real quick, your time. You have family. Uh, when you get home, you are also working. There's no downtime. You have to send invoices out and all that good stuff <clears throat> when you first start. You are you are the everything. All right, enough. Have a blessed one. See you on the next one. Pop smoke. Peace.